Hey everybody, it's Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class University. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about a trout fishing setup, a speckle trout fishing setup that's guaranteed to get great results. Stay tuned. So what trout setup is going to give you great results? Well, we have a November time frame here that we're shooting in. And today I'm going to go out and do a little bit of scouting. But I want to do some trout fishing. So I was in there fumbling through my shop looking for some equipment to take with me. And when you're specifically just targeting trout, well... You need, you need more of a medium light action rod, something that has a very parabolic action. What I mean by parabolic, I mean it's very forgiving. The rod's going to have a lot of flex, a lot of give and take. Because I'm using the Miradine, this is the live series, if you will. This is the pinfish color from Miralor. This is in the MR17 size. I want something that's going to give a little bit, and I'm not going to need a heavy leader. If you look closely here, and I'll show you another take, I've got about two foot of 20 pound monofilament leader. And I'm going to fast twitch this bait because our water temps are still kind of warm for this time of year. It's 75 degrees. So prior to this front, I think we're going to do pretty well today. Front should come in this afternoon. So for a couple hours there when the barometer is really changing, I should really reckon with this. Now next, let's talk about the rod and the reel. So here's our setup for the day. We're going to start off with the reel. The reel is the Stratic CI4. This is the C3000HG. This is a nice light rod setup and it's my personal setup. Uh, on that CI4 I have loaded it with about 125 yards of suffix 832. This is the 8 pound braid. I've put that on my Clearwater rod. This is the Falcon Clearwater rod and it is one of the rods that we endorse here at Flats Class. It's uh, the ideal rod in my opinion for speckled trout fishing and uh, I think a lot of the kayak anglers will like it as well because it's it's only seven foot long and it's it's very very comfortable. Uh, here we are with the MR17. This is a standard Miradine. This is what you're going to see. This is the live bait series. Very realistic. Uh, great match to hatch bait. It's got small number four size hooks on it, which is perfect for a parabolic rod such as this. Now let me demonstrate to you what I mean by parabolic. Uh, because it's very important for you to know or realize that this rod is not going to be the rod that you want to throw heavy gauge wire jig heads with. It's going to be for small baits that have lightweight trebles or maybe light wire jig heads at best. So let's move on to that explanation. So what do I mean by parabolics? Well, parabolics is the flex of the rod. And if you look closely here, you'll see on the rod, if I can get it in focus, you see where it says action is medium light, but the flex is medium soft. That lets you know that this blank is going to bend deep, I mean deep into the rod, 50% down the rod. And what that does, it allows you to stay, you know, within the possibilities of catching soft mouth trout, especially on small treble hook plugs like the MR17. Uh, the MR19 would be another good lure. The MR18, all these are small uh, hard baits that have fine wire hooks. You could also throw the Ned Rig or some paddle tails with finer wire hooks, but nothing with a heavy hook. Uh, the idea behind this is to keep the fish attached, make nice, long, smooth casts without having to jump out of your tennis shoes to make that cast. So that's the strength of this particular rod, which is the SWS uh, 7ML in the Falcon Clearwater series. And like I said again, this is one of the rods that we endorse and is on the website. So today's game will be to target some prefront trout while they're active and the clouds start rolling in later this afternoon and hopefully we'll be able to give you an update. So let me wrap it all up, sum it up for you. What we've got here is the seven foot Falcon Clearwater Rod 
We're using an MR17 Mirrodin. Uh, this is the live bait series for today. We've got it on a Stratic uh, 3000 HG. This is in the CI4 reel setup from Shimano. It's a really nice light reel with very smooth drag. Uh, I put eight pound suffix 832 on here. I can literally cast this Mirrodin probably a solid 120 feet easily every time if I'm blind casting, yet I can feather it and make nice smooth long casts or accurate casts at medium distance as well. So this is my setup for today and it's an extended tackle tip that we just wanted to share with you guys for late fall, especially all you speckled trout fans. Hope you enjoyed the, the quick little tip from Flats Class University and I promise you we're going to have more tips like this on rod and lure pairings in the future. Take care everybody. Captain CA checking out.